Hello. Come on in, guys. How's everybody doing? I'm very excited about today. Hi, Cardi. Hi, Mobile. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Tell me where you're reporting from. Where's everybody tuning in from? Hi. Hello. I'm here in Bushwick still at my apartment, but I'm happy to report that I did have a social distancing hangout with an old friend. So I've seen a human being. Hey, Manhattan, what's up? NYC, Brendy, I see you. Corey, Napa, nice place to be in quarantine. Minneapolis, Tahoe from Mobile. Mezha, hello, welcome. Coral Gables, beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. Awesome, I'm loving seeing everybody come in. Williamsburg, Holler, Park Slope. And how's everybody feeling just like generally? We're midweek, week six or seven, I don't even know of this quarantine, but just give me a check in one word how you're feeling. One word how you're feeling right now. India, wow, Houston. Bay Area, I'm feeling pretty calm right now this week. I feel like I've worked through a lot of stuff. I'm finally getting a flow together, so I'm not feeling like so teenage angsty, but I'm excited about today because there's definitely been some anger brewing. Blah, nice word, one word. <laughs> Confused, totally fair. My name is Britt. Okay, Hillary, I hear you. Anybody else have one word for how they're feeling right now? Hopeful, that's a beautiful one. Good from Vibe. Whoop recovery was on the decline till last night. Weird. Not, yeah, weird is a good one. Adrift. Wow, that's poetic. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Welcome, everybody. We're going to get started in one second right now. Maria says she's feeling happy using this time to learn all kind of things. That's amazing. Me too. I just taught myself a few tricks on Premiere, which is a video editing software I feel excited about. Self-care, over it. <laughs> I hear you, Caro. <laughs> I totally hear you. All right, well, I think we're gonna get started in a second here. Today is all about getting in touch with some of these difficult emotions. And one of those, unstable, I hear you, Kathleen. Um, and one of those is anger and rage. And I think that these type of feelings get a real bad rap because, um, uh, it's just like the way that our society looks at anger, but the truth is it's just another emotion and there are really cool, healthy ways to express it. And what happens when we don't is that it turns into like poor ways of coping. And if you're any kind, if, if you're any kind of an adult, then you know, you've learned over a lifetime that when we bottle up things like rage, they just end up coming out in other ways anyways. So today I've put together a few of my favorite practices and first, I just want to share that this is not just like kind of a, a quippy look at rage. I've had anger issues my whole life. In fact, in middle school and high school, I was very angry. Um, I was the type of kid who was like constantly ripping cigarettes out of my car and like doing donuts and flicking people off. And I got in my fair share of fights. And I got in a lot of trouble because of my repressed anger that I just had no idea how to express. And what happened was I ended up going from kind of being um, angry all the time to being super sad and depressed all the time because those feelings didn't know where to go and they became so overwhelming that my whole system just shut down. So I went from one extreme to the other extreme and what was helpful was really learning to identify what the feelings were when they were happening so that I could learn how to move them. And I've said before in these um, practices that we get to have together on the Big Quiet's IG Live that emotions need motion. And so if there's anger inside of us and we don't ever let it do its thing, then it'll just turn into something else and maybe on the other extreme of it. So to get started today, we're going to do a gentle, a gentle movement called torso rotations, which is going to help rustle up some of the energy inside of us and actually awaken any rage or anger if there is it so that we can properly express it here and I'm going to I'm going to give us a safe space to do that 
Then we're going to do two breathing practices that are game changers and they're tools that you can take away from our time today and literally do anytime. I did one of them is called the hiss breath and I left my dishes out overnight and I had to do them this morning and I like knew it was going to piss me off. And so I did the hiss breath while I did my dishes this morning before I had my coffee. So this shit's real and it works. Then we're going to scream into a pillow <laughs> and then we're going to do a sound meditation that's going to, that I'll guide us through that's going to just really release tension inside of any of the areas in our body that we're still holding on to it. So if you don't have a pillow or a, a scarf or something that you can scream into, I'm going to give you a second to grab that. Literally anything will work, a, a pillow, a sweatshirt, a blanket, whatever's around. And then we'll begin by just finding a seat. We're going to do everything seated today. So find that pillow or something that we're going to scream into later so that you have it handy. Hi, everybody who's just coming in. And then find a seat. I'm sitting on a meditation cushion. You can sit directly on the floor. You can sit in a chair or on a couch with back support. Anything is okay for this practice. This first torso rotation, you're going to need a little bit of room to move around. So if you are sitting on that chair, or the couch, make sure you're sitting up on the edge so that you have room to move your body around. And same with if you're on the floor, make sure you're not too close to a wall so that you can really get back and get moving. All right, so I think we will begin. Everybody who's just welcoming us, we're getting ready to start our practice. We're gonna do a few movement exercises, a few breaths. You're gonna need something to scream into, a pillow, a blanket, a sweatshirt. So grab that and you can find us on your seat. And wherever you are, put that pillow to the side. Just find a, a seat that's comfortable. I like to call it upright, but not uptight. This is just a seat that's comfortable for you that's gonna allow energy to flow. And just for one moment before we do anything else, close your eyes. We're not beginning any type of breathing or meditation. We're just checking in with our body exactly as it is right now, knowing that whatever energy is buzzing there, whatever frustration, whatever judgments or ideas that this practice is going to be about, we're just going to let them go. Taking a survey of the body, noticing if you already can tell where your body is tense. And just taking a few normal breaths on your own, no forcing, just easeful, natural breaths. You can allow your eyes to flutter back open. You'll place both hands on the knees, and we're gonna do the torso rotations first, and I'll show you. We're going to first go clockwise and then we'll go counterclockwise and we'll do 10 each way. And they look like this. We're going to inhale out and around, exhale out and back. Inhale, exhale. Okay, begin with me. This is number one. Inhale, two, three, inhale, four, inhale, Five, inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. I'm gonna go counterclockwise, inhale, inhale, three, four, five, really letting everything move, six, twirling that energy, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, pause in the middle, allow your eyes to come to a close and just feel any of that energy that's brewing now. We're kind of going to work today in levels, so you should feel some energy at the base of your spine, at your root, in your butt, just moving around, okay? So we're starting to move around any of this energy that we may or may not know of in our bodies that's really just begging to get moved. 
And for the second practice, we're going to start to bring some in and push them out. And it's a practice called the ha breath. And it's called the ha breath because we're audibly going to make a sound ha. And the way that it works is we'll do it for about one minute. We inhale on the right arms raised up. This is me showing you for the first time. Inhale. And on the exhale, it's ha. And we'll do this for one minute. And I really want you to allow your voice to come out. Really allow it to move from your gut up out through your mouth. And don't worry about sounding silly or weird. Know that there's a bunch of us doing this together online. Okay? So we'll begin by exhaling all the air in our lungs with an SH on the count of three. One, two, three. Shh. All the way to the bottom. Big inhale, arms up. Exhale with a ha! 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 Let it out! Ha! 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 ha. Bringing your arms down into your rib cage and releasing with a ha! 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 Inhale up! Ha! 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 Keep it going, we're about halfway done! Ha! 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 Ha, 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 let it out. What are you holding back? Ha, 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 ha. You got this. Ha, ha, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, ha, ha, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale the arms up and exhale the arms gently and gracefully down. Allowing your eyes to come for a close. They're going to remain closed for the remainder of our time together. You should notice now that you have energy moving throughout your entire body. You might feel tingly hands. There might be emotions coming up. It's okay, whatever you're feeling. Just seeing if you can notice sensation in your body. And we're going to do two gentle breathings together before we go into our sound meditation. And we'll begin by exhaling all the air in our lungs like we did at the beginning with an SH on the count of three. One, two, three. Shh. All the way down to the bottom. Big inhale, big exhale, big inhale, and on the exhale, you're going to hiss like a snake. So when you get to the bottom, gently press your abdomen to release any of the extra air. Big inhale into the stomach, up into the chest. Hissing like a snake on the exhale. Pressing that air against the back of your teeth and your tongue. Gently press, pressing on the abdomen when you run out of air. All the way. Last one, big inhale. Into the belly. Up into the chest. Hold. Releasing all the air with a Really pressing it out, allowing your body to even tense while you do it. Pressing the abdomen. Big inhale. Hold. One sip more. Exhale. With your eyes remaining closed, if you can grab it without opening them, Grab your pillow. If not, you can peek. You can grab your pillow, place it in your lap as you continue sitting. You can bring your eyes back to a close if you had to peek. And just notice, again, the sensations. Notice any sensations, not judging them. We're just looking for sensation. If you catch a tingle or a wave, try to follow it. See where it is in your body.
And with your eyes closed, I want to invite you and know and let you know that right now is the perfect time, the safe time to think about anything that you're mad about. Think of things that have hurt you or made you angry. It could be as deep as your childhood or as recent as losing your job. Maybe you're sick of doing the dishes or walking down the same block. And in your mind or out loud, whatever feels comfortable for you, I want you to finish this sentence. I feel angry when. Whatever comes to mind, you feel it, the sentence. I feel angry when I can't see my friends. I feel angry when I can't find work. I feel angry when I can't do the things that I want to do. Allowing yourself to really ruffle this stuff up and know that it's okay to feel mad. And we give this anger, this rage, the ability to be seen and heard. It can move and dissipate. I feel angry when. I feel angry when. I feel angry when. Now, I want you to bring all that emotion or the emotion that you can't access. Maybe you're mad because you can't think of anything. Or maybe you're not mad. You believe you truly aren't mad. Whatever that frustration is with this exercise or with what's coming up, I want you to bring it all right up to your heart. And we're going to take a big inhale and on the exhale, we're going to bring the pillow up to our face and we're going to scream as hard as we can into the pillow. We're going to let all that shit out. So big inhale into the belly. Let it all come up. Big inhale into the chest and scream into your pillow. Take a big inhale and do it again. And allow the pillow to come back down to your waist or your lap. Gentle inhales and exhales. Noticing if that felt strange or silly or good. And we're going to do it one more time. I feel angry when big inhale into the belly, up into the chest. Hold it, sip in a little bit more air, and on the exhale, scream into the pillow. Oh, oh. You can put the pillow to the side with your eyes remaining closed. We're gonna get ready to go into our sound meditation. Noticing if there's heat in your face from screaming Noticing if there's a shakiness to your body, if there's any emotions coming up or not. And as you hear the sound of the crystal bowls start to enter the space, we're going to take three steady breaths, steady breaths together and I'm going to tell you how that works.
three, four, exhale for a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big inhale. Big exhale.
as we do. Imagine that with every breath, you're breathing in peace and calm. And with every exhale, you're releasing anger and tension. to get fainter with your eyes remaining closed you can drop any practices you were using or that I gave you and again just noticing sensation There's a part of your body that feels like it needs a little extra love or still feels tense. You can bring your hand to that area of your body. And you can just kind of gently say to it, take it easy. 
sending it your love, your patience. Knowing that any of this stored tension or anger or sadness or feeling in our body is just trying to get our attention with whatever way that it can. So if we can learn to figure out where those feelings are in our body and give them attention, acknowledge them, move them, they can pass. Now, if you haven't already put a hand there, you can place both hands over your heart. Giving yourself a moment of gratitude for showing up, screaming into a pillow online. Knowing that any of these breathing practices and the pillow screams, you can do on your own. That you can be there for yourself. Allowing the hands to float back down and just taking one big breath together into the belly up into the chest, hold, and let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> and on your own time, with no rush at all, you can open your eyes. And I can come see you guys, because you know I can't see anything. If you know me, I can't see. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining with me today on this interesting ride of practices that I've kind of developed in my own life. And if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to share, uh, there's a little question mark box next to the comment box on the bottom. And if you press it and put it in there, then I'll see them. And maybe you can just let me know how you're feeling now or if anything came up for you in the comment box. I'd love to hear. I hear that people are feeling relaxed, that it was heavenly. You're so welcome, Kristen and Rebecca and Ash. Kathleen, I'm so happy that you had a release. All right, V squared. I'm so glad that you guys found this useful. Um, what was your favorite part? Sweated, cried, and relaxed. I sweat too. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. It probably didn't help. I feel incredible. First pillow scream in a long time. Yes, Im Imbada. You're welcome, Gina. All right, I see a few questions coming in, but if anybody wants to let me know how they're feeling in the comment box with just one word or what their favorite part was. Unexpected tears, that's great. That just means you're re releasing, Robin. You're welcome, Miss Kia. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is a nice question from Mad Powers. Are these online anywhere on demand? So we are slowly rolling out um, probably once or twice a week the videos we've been doing on IG Live in our IGTV. And we always do a preview in our regular grid so you can find them there, Mad Powers. Thank you so much. I super struggle with anger, especially right now during these crazy times from Carol Hendricks. I hear you. There's there's a lot of anger and it's totally warranted and it's okay to feel it and say you're pissed, you know? I uh, cried a bunch from Melly, releasing tears from a lot of people. J Joanna says she needed that. She lost her dog. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, you're welcome, Mad Powers. Um, we got some more questions coming in. This is from Ada. She says, I've been crying lately, or I've been crying lately during the meditation and it bothers me. How do I let it just sit? Um, thank you for sharing this. I I can relate. Um, I I used to really bother me. I didn't want to, I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to feel, um, unpleasant emotions and I'm not sure if that's the experience that you're having but something that's helped me with just sitting with feelings whether or not I want to have them or not is what I was talking about with the anger thing is realizing that no emotions are good or bad they're all just emotions that like we as humans have on a spectrum and um 
just knowing that emotions are really just energy in our body that needs to be expressed. And there's so many different types of them and they're all expressed in different ways. And sometimes we cry when we're sad. Sometimes we cry when we're happy, but I think, um, looking at them more, more through the lens of this is energy in my body that needs to be moved and, and being kind of grateful for when it comes out in whatever way it does. So when I cry now, I'm like, oh, it's almost like this moment of thank God. <laughs> so I hope that's helpful. If you can maybe shift your lens of, of what you're experiencing and know that it's just such a good and powerful thing for your body to move that stuff, Ada. I, I love these people chiming in to give support to Johanna for her dog. I mean, I, I can't imagine what you're going through, especially right now. And I'm sending well wishes too. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure. I couldn't really. This one says from Tati. Could you combine your breathing aura gives in one video? I really enjoy them and find them super helpful. I'm not sure what aura gives and what um, exactly that means. But every time we post a meditation, if there's a breathing before it, we usually include it. So you can look at our IGTV right now and any of those gray meditations are ones that I've led on Wednesday mornings. And, and each of them has some type of breathing practice, but it's really cool to hear that these have been resonating with you. And so I'll try to think of ways to share them. Thanks for asking. Oh, breathing practices. Yeah, so so Tati, I will. I'll, I'll try to find some ways to share them because they're really helpful for me too. But you can bet that anytime you see um, a meditation in the gray, like that's with Jackie on IGTV, that there's breathing. And Jesse almost always does a breathing practice before his meditations too. All right. Um... Yeah, this is cool. Um, my name is Brett says, I struggle with honoring my emotions and reminding myself that emotions aren't facts. Yeah, emotions aren't always the truth of what's happening in our lives. And as someone who has dealt with a lot of body issues and anger, I can tell you that um, my thoughts aren't always right. <laughs> um, and so my relationship with my thoughts over time has changed to where now it, it's not that I try to fight with them, but it's like they're my little sister and they just need to be heard. And I say, okay, well, thanks for sharing, <laughs> but that's not true. And we're going to move on. So that's cool that you're remind. That's a good reminder for yourself that they're not facts. Hello from Brazil. You're welcome, Ada. All right. So I'm going to check and see if there's any more questions. But other than that, I want to let you guys know that on Thursday, which is tomorrow, I don't even know what day it is. Thursday is um, one of my favorite performers, James Tillman. He's going to be on live from the living room at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the Big Quiet's IG. I would not miss it. He's such a talent. And then on Sunday, Jesse and I will be doing our Sunday slowdown where we really, like Jesse and I, he's one of my best friends, and we get to in real time catch up and you're watching it happen really live. And we just talk about what came up in the week. And then based on what kind of came up, we do some breathing practices and a meditation and the sound bowls are always there. So I hope you guys can join us for that. That's on Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hi, Rachel. All right, let's check this out. So um, this is a good question that is a, a little bit of a lengthy answer. But I have seven different crystal singing bowls here, so they're all different frequencies. But if you want to message me at it's Jackie Cantwell, I can try to answer that a little bit more in depth. And if anybody else is interested more of like the specifics of the bowls, um, you can shoot me questions and and I'll try to answer them in a in a timely manner with as much information that I know. So I love you guys all so much. I've been loving seeing this community come together. And if you come up with any questions or anything that you want to share about what came up for you in this practice, you can always message me. I'm pinned at the bottom at it's Jackie Cantwell. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Bye.